Are you ready to make an appointment on the land bank board? Am I ready? I, I make all the appointments on the no, land bank board. It's, 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 the old seat is open. Oh, for District 2? Yeah. That land bank? I made an appointment. I mean, I made, I brought a recommendation to the city council, and that was Ben Gray. Right. And uh, that's who I think would be the best. Now, we are evaluating um, of, of uh, other people and their interest to, uh, to uh, appoint the right person for the land bank board. But, um, you know, it, it's, it's up to the mayor to make the recommendations to the city council, and they vote them up or they vote them down. That's how the process goes. So right. I still think that Ben Gray was the, the, the best um, recommendation for the land bank. He was uh, involved in it from the very beginning. He understands it uh, as well as anybody does. And so right now they have enough uh, on the board to function properly and to function and, and do anything that they need to do. So we're very carefully considering who else we could appoint for the District 2 position. So you're not, you're not going to br bring Ben Gray's appointment back? You know, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but probably not bring Ben's back. Um, it was voted down by the city council. That's their job. I make a recommendation to them. They vote it up. They vote it down. Uh, but I want to get the right person. Have you, have you discussed this with uh, Council Member Johnson? I've discussed it. Well, yeah, I have. Yes, I have. I mean, she, she sent me an email about it um, when it first happened. I haven't spoken to her since about that. But it's not up to the council to appoint those people. It's up to the mayor to make the recommendation. They voted up or down. That's how we do everything. I, I appoint over 65 boards and commissions. That's how we do it. But this appointment's a bit different than it takes a two-thirds majority. In effect, you need five votes, right? I need five votes. It takes five votes to appoint, to appoint that member, right? It's no. A it's a two-thirds majority, right? To appoint the library board? I don't not the library board. I mean, not the library board, to appoint the uh, land bank? It doesn't take, no, it doesn't. It does? Well, it does. Wait. Do you mean confirm or appoint? No, I'm saying for, for the, the oh, well, looky who's here. <laughs> to, to, the appoint, to, to, appoint to appoint the land bank, under, does it? Yes, oh, under okay. state right. statute, not under our ordinances, but under state statute, it does require a super majority of the council in order to approve a land bank member. Okay, I'm learning something. There we go. Well, the other question I've got is, is it's my understanding, maybe Matt knows this one as well. Come back. <laughs> it's got to be filled within six months of the vacancy? Dad, I'm not sure that there's any requirement, either in the code or in the statute, that says that there's a time limit on when the vacancy has to be filled. As long as the land bank is able to function with a quorum, there are no issues with how the land bank is functioning. Okay. Do you know when that, when that seat opened up? Like, was, it at, was it at the election in May? When it, when, that, it, when the clock started on that? Well, they, it opened up when the member that represented the land bank in that district moved out of that district. And so we, the seat was vacant because she moved. Right. It wasn't because I tried to replace her. Right. And so it's, and I can't remember when that was. I can't. I could get it to you okay. when she moved. Mm -hmm. All right.